Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today I will uh, talk about um, some synonyms in the Quran. And the the word I've chosen is prayer. So in the Quran, Allah has used four words to convey this meaning. But uh, each word is slightly different than the other. So first word is dua. So dua literally means to call. Um, and it is used to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or pray for someone in favor of someone or pray against someone meaning to curse someone. So if you use uh, the preposition lam after the uh, word dua, then it will be it will mean to pray for someone in favor of him. And if it uh, if the preposition ala is used, then it will mean to curse that person. In the Quran, um, the people in the preposition ala is not used after dua. So <clears throat> as for the prepos in the preposition lamb. Allah has used it several places. One of them is in Surah Baqarah, ayah number sixty-one. Allah says, "وَإِذْ قُلْتُمْ يَا مُوسَى لَنْ نَصْبِرَ عَلَى طَعَامٍ وَاحِدٍ فَدْعُوا لَنَا رَبَّكَ." And when you said, "Musa, we will no longer confine ourselves to a single food, so pray for us to your Lord." So pray for us, meaning in favor of us, to your Lord. Fadu'u lana. Here the lamb came after the word dua. The next word is salama or salam. Um, another word for salam is taslim. And the verbal, word, uh, the verbal form is salama. Means to keep safe or to protect someone. And it also means to pray for the safety of someone. In other words, to say Assalamu alaykum. Allah says in the Quran, فَإِذَا دَخَلْتُمْ بُيُوتًا فَسَلِّمُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِكُمْ Which means that when you enter the houses, then do salam upon the residents. Word number three is Hayya. The noun is Tahiyya. And Hayya is the, um, is the verb. It means to greet someone with Hayyak Allah, meaning may Allah prolong your life but this word also is used uh, for normal greeting as well or to say uh, to salam to give salam to someone like allah has said in the quran wa minha when someone greets you with salam then reply to him with better wordings or, or return the same words Okay, word number four is salla. The verbal form is salla and the noun is salah. Salah is the daily five prayers. So in this one, in salah, obviously, when we're reading salah, we also, it is it consists of prayer as well. Prayer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And um, salah is used to uh, for prayer or blessings to honor someone. Allah says in the Quran, عَلَيْهِمْ إِنَّ صَلَاتَكَ سَكَنٌ لَهُمْ And pray for them. Verily, your prayer is a source of comfort for them. If the word salla is attributed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it would mean that he sends blessings and mercy to the Prophet or someone. And if it is attributed to the creation, it would mean to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that he sends his mercy and blessings upon someone. Allah says in the Quran, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his angel, angels send blessings upon the Prophet. O oh, believers, um, send Blessings and mercy upon the Prophet, meaning ask Allah to send mercy and blessings upon the Prophet. 
So the, all the four words are as follows. Dua, which is uh, common for all types of prayer. Number two, Hayya, pray for long life. Salama, greet with salam or pray for the safety of someone. And number four, Salla, from Salah, means pray for blessings and mercy and send blessings or mercy. Or Salah, it would mean the five daily prayers. وَأَخِرُ دَعْوَانَانَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ